What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is George and this is the Arbitrage Addicts YouTube channel. In this video guys, we're going to be talking a little bit deeper about sourcing. In this, I'm going to be going over manual sourcing and how I myself actually scan through websites when I'm not sending some stuff over to my VAs to look over. Um, a couple tips that I'm going to recommend is finding out what the discounts are for, for specific websites. So say for example, Nike right now, they're having a sale, but there's no additional discount code. On the other hand, websites like Champs might have an additional discount code. Sometimes it's 20%, today it's 25% I got a code for. So something to definitely keep in mind when you're sourcing is looking for discounts, whether that's through cashback, an actual physical discount code, or say on websites like Nordstrom's Off, uh, Ra off Fifth or Saks Off Fifth, <clears throat> Nordstrom's Rack or Saks Off Fifth, you can find stuff for say maybe you spend a thousand, you get $250 off. So there's all different kinds of discount codes. And once we get onto the computer, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about that before we actually get into the live sourcing. Gonna be a quick video, should only take 10 to 15 minutes, but lots of good stuff coming up, guys. Definitely tune in if you wanna learn how to source more efficiently and more effectively. So guys, also just wanna give you a quick desk setup. So I do have one monitor that's run up to the Xbox for when I wanna watch some YouTube videos or something else. But here's my first page, guys. I'm gonna be using Amazon on my top left monitor. I'm gonna be using the sites that I'm sourcing on my right monitor. And then obviously, guys, I gotta post this stuff in the Discord after. So I'm gonna be using the, my actual keyboard for just for my Discord monitor. Um, as I'm typing, I'm gonna type stuff in here. And then once I figure it out, post after I figure out a couple of good leads. So just guys, a good overview of actually, this is how I actually run it, in the middle, right down the middle, super easy. You can see all my returns over there, sad face, but it's all good, happens. Um, this is how I'm running my three monitor setup to be efficient and effective. A lot of people don't talk about their actual setup and I feel like this would be super helpful for somebody who's trying to improve their setup. Maybe they're just running on one screen, maybe they got 20 screens. This works efficiently and effectively for me. All right, guys, now we are on the computer. Shout out to Loom for having my face in this little corner. Not the best for recording. Sometimes it shows up without sound, but that is okay. So let's just get right into it. So all I did, guys, was type in Nike.com. Since my system automatically brings me to men's shoes on Nike.com, we're going to take one step back and just go to the main homepage. So me as an uneducated seller, I'm just going to be talking out loud and looking at stuff that looks like interesting to me. I'm throwing all my previous knowledge out the window. Let's try and exit out of that. Sorry about that. So right off the bat, I'm going to see that there's this new markdowns up to 50%, no code required. So I'm just clicking that right off the bat. <clears throat> so this narrows it down to 4,000 items on the website. Meanwhile, I also see that there's this 8% cashback. I'm going to press remind me later, but if you were actually shopping on this, you'd press activate now. Um, some exclusions do apply, which way they do mention. So some retro Jordan, some stuff like that is excluded. For me, when I'm searching, I like to narrow down the search. I've been doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with students. Some students are searching everything and anything, and then some who are narrowing it down are having more success finding actually profitable stuff. Um, so just something that I like to do is narrow it down. You can do obviously whatever you would like. That's the beauty of Amazon. You can source in many different ways and find results uh, for your business that work. So right off the bat, you guys saw me just change this from low to high, and I just switched it from um, all shoes to just men's. So I'm, I'm going to look based by gender, size, and category right now, just so I have a general idea of what I'm looking at, and I can look through this a lot faster than if I was just scrolling through, um, say, hoodies, sweatshirts, shorts, backpacks, everything all at once. Right now, I'm just looking at profitable Nike shoes. Um, obviously, guys, I posted about these Monarchs a ton. This is a fair price to check out at 45, and then also this colorway at 55. Um, that's a tip from the Discord chat. Tons of people are copping those up. Same thing with these Court Visions, another good product. <coughs> when I'm looking through, websites i'm looking for basic colors like this court vision obviously this monarch's a, a little bit of an outlier it's a classic but at the end of the day guys these are all just classic colorways um simple just because you don't like it doesn't mean somebody else might not like it something that i would not i'm not going to say i'm going to avoid it but i would be less inclined to look up is maybe something like this Kyrie. It's orange with i don't know what color green that is um weird midsole i'm going to skip that red potential 
So what I like to do is just open it up in a new tab. A lot of these shoes I already know are going to be good or bad. I have no idea about that one. I haven't looked it up recently. And guys, the data is always changing on, on this stuff. This is a good example of something that might be good. It's shown it's sold out. I'm going to open it in a new tab and just keep it in mind for the next time. Nothing wrong with checking up on stuff that is sold out or was borderline profitable before. You never know with, with the market and where it's going to go. Prices are always changing. So guys, right now I'm just scanning through, looking for some deals. Um, <clears throat> sometimes these Revolution 5s have decent sizes. I remember the gray was good. So right now, guys, all I'm doing is just opening it up in a new tab. And then after we go through the whole website, in this case, the 299 pairs of shoes, I'm going to go over to Amazon and actually look up each sneaker, look at the Keepa history and use seller amp to make an educated buying decision on if I should buy it or not. Guys, if you want some videos on these softwares that I'm talking about, definitely drop a comment down below. Um, and I'll be putting out some videos soon. I'm waiting on a couple people from some of these companies to send me, uh, some backstories behind the companies we'll call out miles right now miles send me a seller amp video so that i could add it into mine um tons of great products but just got to get some time together to film some videos for it <clears throat> so right here guys we're just looking through we're getting a little bit pricier um from what i've noticed stuff between the 130 and 50 dollars range tends to be my sweet spot for amazon might be a different story for you. I should be more specific for sneakers on Amazon. Um, this looks promising. This might be a good shoe for some other platforms too. And when I'm looking, guys, I've sold on every single platform you can imagine. StockX, Goat, Flight Club, Stadium Goods, whatever sneaker platforms there are, I've sold on it. Um, so I'm also thinking about other platforms too. Just because if I'm ordering this to my house, to me, it really doesn't matter how it goes out as long as it's getting sold profitably. Um, and sometimes with some of these platforms like StockX, for example, I have instant payout where I'm getting paid the next day. Obviously, you guys are here for some Amazon content, but um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say no to free money when the opportunity does present itself. The reason why I'm going so high right now on these prices is because I know that there's a couple mids that are on sale. This is potential. Um, you never know. <clears throat> this is a SC trainer. Decent. Um, I've sold a couple of the Bo Jackson ones that look just similar to that. This might be a good deal, 113. Um, but now, guys, this is what I've I've found from this website. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potential leads from this Nike sale. Um, now I'm going to go over to another website just to give you an idea of how I find the best, most competitively priced stuff. So right now we're moving over to Champs. Sorry about that, my screen glitched out. So now we're move, moving over to Champs. So right now in the Discord chat, we have a couple members selling 25% off Champs code. So let's take advantage of that. So the 25% Champs code is only going to work on stuff that is not excluded. So what exactly does that mean? Again, I'm going to go to the men's section just because I have a good understanding of men's Nike products currently. And I'm going to sort this, guys, by featured discount eligible. This is going to only give us products that are eligible for this 25% off discount. So if you have a VA or somebody who's looking over the stuff for you, this is huge information for them to be able to narrow down their search margin. We went from probably 200,000 items on the website down to 8,000. And now I'm going to narrow it down even more to just Nike. Um, from 8,000, we're down to 1,600. <clears throat> And then last but not least, guys, we're going to sort this by shoes, it's product type shoes. And just like that, we went from 8,000 things we have to look at to only 347. So this is going to save us a ton of time when we're narrowing stuff down. And guys, if you're smart, you could bookmark this exact page so that every time all you got to do is just press champs and you have it already taken you to the, the sections that you want to go look at um, instantly, basically. And if you have a lot of websites like this and you don't want to fill up all your bookmarks, I recommend making maybe a Google Sheet or a Word document if you're in the Stone Ages, and you can just update it live no matter where you are across the world. So that's clutch. You can also have your VAs updating it as well. Um, for this one, I'm not going to sort by low to high this time. I'm going to sort by top sellers just because there's only 400 and just give you guys a quick overview of what I think looks good. Bought these before. This is probably good. This is probably down in the 90s. Um, 
The other colors are good, but they're not excluded from discount. I made that mistake myself earlier. I got so excited and there was some letdown, but hey, that's all right. That's part of the sourcing game. This was a good pair, very expensive, full price retail, but with the 25% off, you're looking at around 120, if I'm not mistaken, um, for the purchase price. <clears throat> So guys, just gonna go through one more page right here. And as I'm going through, just talk out loud and show you guys what exactly I'm looking for. This would be a good pair if it was this pair, but it's this off nor purple. Yeah, this to me, pass. I'm not even gonna look it up. This GT7, um, based on my previous knowledge, I know that it's not the best, but if I saw this, I would give this a look. Cheap, basic colorway, um, simple find. So one of the good things about sorting by most popular is you get to see what people are kind of buying uh, not most popular, best selling. You get to see what people are kind of buying. But if you really want to go through this quickly, I recommend sorting it from high to low or low to high. Same with all the other websites. Um, after I post this video, everyone's going to be sorting from low to high. So if I were you, I would switch it up, maybe do high to low and just play with it. Um, the sales are always changing, obviously, guys. And when, when you sort from low to high, you see a lot of like track spikes, running shoes, um, flip-flops, sandals. So these are things that sometimes are good, but right now I'm just going to skip over just because there are so many other products that we can possibly look at. So just within the first page, there's a ton of shoes that are below. Um, with this, they're all below 50 bucks. This is some good deals, guys. These are metal baseball cleats too. Baseball season is right around the corner. Um, by me, it starts in 15 days. All the high school teams and uh, local teams are going to be playing. So not a bad idea to start looking at products like this now so that you have it in, in, in Amazon for when it's time to order that pair of cleats for Prime and they need it within two days. So you can get some of those crazy sales. This might be have some potential at free run too. Um, an OG Challenger. These are all classic shoes, guys, that I've been selling for years. Um, but the data obviously is always changing. Good golf shoe right here. A little expensive, but with the 25% off, might be promising. Um, Vapor Edge 360. This is only size 16, but we're just going to click it just in case they up updated some new sizes. But guys, just like that, we were able to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 potential leads for champs.com within 10 minutes. So between Nike and champs in 10 minutes, we were able to find... <clears throat> 20 plus leads that we can look up and have potential of being profitable. That's all by narrowing down our search and looking just strategically into one section. And then, okay, now we have these 20. Now we want to go look at sweatshirts. Now we want to go look at hoodies. Uh, same exact thing. Let pants, whatever the case may be. Now we have the potential to narrow it down and only really look at what we want to look at, guys. We don't have to look at tons of champs uh, they called CGS, Champ, CSG, Champ Sporting Goods Clothing. We don't need to look at any of that. We're not going to be selling any of that um, on Amazon. We're going to be selling Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, products like that. So this is a huge strategy that I use to narrow down and save a ton of time. This also saves my VAs a ton of time searching. When they first start, they're always looking at like 5,000 things at once. I'm like, why are you looking at Puma shoes? I don't even sell Puma shoes. Maybe I should, but if the task is to look at Nike stuff, only look at Nike, only look at Adidas. Um, look at stuff that's for on clearance. There's so many ways of going about it, but this is just one way that I like to manually source out of my many strategies that I use. As you can see, guys, it was pretty effective. We were able to find a ton of potential leads. Obviously, guys, some days are going to be better than others. You'll hit some home runs and you'll strike out, but that is what business is. Um, if you guys have any more questions about sourcing or want to see me go over any other sourcing strategies, especially if you stayed to this long, drop a comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. If you send me a DM on Instagram and say, hey, I was watching your YouTube video and I had some questions, I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, but for right now, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. We got a lot of good sourcing in. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Anything's appreciated. I really appreciate it, guys. Catch you later.